Hey guys, I'm gonna be talking really slow because Melanie is sleeping and I'm in the room with her. I don't really record anywhere else because this is the place where I have the most lighting since I'm in front of my vanity. And it's really dark out there, especially because it's gonna rain, I think, and it's really like dark outside. So I'm going to record very quietly. But for today's. Oh, sorry guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. For today's video, I will be doing a what's in my makeup bag video. And y'all might recognize this from my San Antonio trip, but this may be something new to y'all. And this is the bag that I use. I used to use the small zipper bags or like those little carrying cosmetics bags, but ever since I got this one. I began using this one because I like it. It's like super cute. So I can see I have two more of these, but they're different designs. I did get this one from Ipsy. They sent it to me with my five monthly products. And this was a while back. I paused my subscription from like September to the end of the year. And I'm going to renew it in January. So I'm going to continue doing that for you. I will be showing you all my everyday makeup essentials and what I would usually take if I were to travel or do my makeup on the go. Literally, my everyday makeup is the same thing I would take with me because I don't do anything dramatic, so it would be for a natural look. If you like to do your makeup naturally, just keep on watching to see what you need. I never wear eyeshadow. I always use like natural makeup, just foundation, my eyebrows, eyelashes, and that's it. So I'm gonna be showing you what the products that I use. So, whenever I open my bag, I am going to be taking my sponges out. I don't have a case for them, so I just threw them in like this. I've been using the Morphe ones, guys. I made a video on this a while back, and these are amazing. Like, these have been the best sponges ever. I used to use a brush because even when I went to my San Antonio trip, I still took a brush. And this is what I use for my foundation now. I actually use this one for foundation the little one for my concealer and then i use this one for powder on my face and this one for powder under my eye bags so these have come in really handy i do use beauty sponges for anyone wondering next up i'm gonna show you the brushes that i use i don't really take a lot of brushes with me because i don't really need that many i have the real techniques contour brush this is the one that i use for my contour and it's pretty small it's a, like a really nice brush actually and then up next i have this powder brush from moda brushes and this is the one that i've been using i have a bunch of powder brushes and i'd be switching out all the time but this is the one that i've been using right now and you just need one of them you don't need that many and then for my eyebrows i do use it morphe x jeffree star pencil and the js7 um, so this is the one that I use. I've been using this one for a while now and I like it. Like I said, I always switch out, but I like this one the most. It helps me make my eyebrow shape better. And don't mind these because I did sleep with these on, like with my makeup on last night. So that's why they look a little bit messed up. Last but not least for the brushes, I do use this concealer brush. This is the one that I use to clean out my eyebrows and this is a really cheap brush but let me tell you that this brush came from one of the first sets that i ever owned when doing my when i first started doing my makeup and i did not know about high-end products so i continue to use it and this one has helped me a lot i have another one of these but i use the other one for my to cut my crease those have been amazing like i said you don't really need a high-end products high-end brushes to do your makeup because sometimes cheaper brushes are the ones that do the job better than the expensive ones for my foundation as y'all saw in one of my videos i began using this covergirl clean matte foundation and i did use mine in the shade medium 540 and it leaves your face matte and it like doesn't make your skin oily at all this one worked really good the only thing that i have noticed after a while is that the coverage goes away not 
like not a lot but it does go away a little bit it's full coverage when you do it but once you've had it for a few hours it just like kind of like fades off so but i would still use this one and i would still recommend it because it's a really good foundation for my lashes i just threw in my favorite pairs of lashes in here and i do have a bunch of cases because as y'all know i do sell lashes and this case so Melanie woke up that's why I stopped the video but I've been dropped like throwing mine in these cases last time I took one of these two because it's just easier for me to like close it and take them out since it's plastic and it slides so I've just been using this case and these are my favorite lashes um yes these are one of the ones that I used to sell and I love them love them so much so I just take one pair of lashes. I don't really take a bunch of them because I just wear the same thing every single day. I do take this um, hemp hydrating face mist and it contains hemp seed oil and rosehip oil. And I do use this to spray it on my beauty blenders before applying foundation. If I'm out of like out of my house, I clean these with a damp towel or a makeup wipe. And then I spray this on them. I do three sprays. And I started doing my makeup with that. This actually helps to set your makeup a little bit longer. Since I do not carry a setting mist whenever I travel or anything. I don't really like to put setting spray unless I'm going to like a party or something. But this helps a lot either way. If I'm doing a natural makeup look and I'm going out, I just spray this and then do my makeup. For my eyebrows, I do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one the pomade and this is in the shade medium brown i've always used this one it's actually already going to be gone so i have to go get me another one but i've always loved to use this brand i've tried the elf one and some other brands and i do like them but for now i be i still use this one a lot better than the other ones for concealers i do clean out my eyebrows with this tarte shape tip concealer and it's either this one or with the same foundation that I use. And I do use both of these for my under eye bags. I mix both of them. So I just apply about two to three little dabs of each color. And I just blend them in together. And it gives me the perfect tone or at least it gives me the tone that I want to cover my dark circles. For mascara, this is the mascara that I use. I use the L'Oreal Paris Luminous Carbon Black Mascara. I use this one and the lash sensational from maybelline new york i use these two like i said i first apply one of them and then i do the other one on top of them just to make them thicker and darker for the powder i have two different types of powders here because i do use two different types and everyone ha everyone has their own way of doing makeup so there's no right or wrong or nothing's weird to anyone because as long as you feel like that works for you then that's good I do use the Becca Hydrating Mist Powder to set my face and it's a translucent shade. And then I use this one from Mary Kay in Ivory 0.5. And this one is like a lighter white shade and I use this one for my under eye bags. Like I said, I do have dark circles whenever I don't have makeup on. I don't know if y'all have noticed that, but I do like to apply this one over my concealer to make them lighter and then this like to the rest of my face. And that's just how I find myself doing my makeup better and I feel like I look better like that. Of course, if I travel or anything, I would have these. Even if I'm at home, I need these. These are makeup wipes. I also have a contour kit palette and this is from the brand ABH. I do like to use this one too. I always use this one. Well, not always, but sometimes. But this would be included in my everyday makeup because even if I do natural makeup, I like to apply these shades either i use this one and that one but i would take this along with me you never know right for my moisturizers and primers i've been using this bon bonajour green tea water bomb moisturizer it has lots of vitamins and i've been using this one like recently i used to use a different one that was a moisturizer and primer in one like two in one but i've been using this one lately and it hydrates my face so good like it never dries up after putting makeup or taking it off so i'm almost out of it too like i've been using it a lot and that's that's what i've been using as my primer and i've been taking the professional primer from benefit too because like i said i've been breaking out a lot especially because i sleep with my makeup but i take this one to cover up my pores and all that 
so I do use two sometimes. I do use one. It depends on my face. Last but not least, to end this video, I am going to show you what I use for my lips. I don't really wear lipstick a lot. My lips are always plain or I like to use a gloss and I use the one... I use the lip oil from the brand Girl Actic and this is a rose oil petal gloss and I did get this either in my BoxyCharm or Ipsy bag and it does look like this but this is the one that I like to use just to keep my lips hydrated and sparkly. Who else noticed that I never even mentioned a lash glue? I was totally forgetting the eyelash glue and I have it right here but I just didn't add it in the bag which is what I forgot. But I do take a glue, of course, and I use the Everlasting Lash Glue from the brand Ioni. I don't really find this one very useful. I find that I find the little one from Eyelier one better. And that's it, guys. That's everything that I use. I already put everything back in here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the small giveaway. Today's giveaway is gonna be the six-inch ring light and. Let's see who's gonna be taking it. Okay, so all I'm gonna say is that lots of people joined today's giveaway. As y'all can see, there's a bunch of them compared to any other day. So I'm gonna have my sister do it since it is early today and she's here. Let me go ahead and shuffle it. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and click. Yeah, click on the wheel. Okay, and it looks like get Sally Mejia won the six inch ring light for today. Yay, girl, go ahead and clean your price right now. So, I just realized that I do have extra little skincare things. This company has been a little bit behind, which is why they haven't posted on their online page. But I already have a code, I already have a free shipping code, and they still have to set everything up so that it can work. But I have the Midnight Vanilla Charcoal Scrub, and it's new, it's brand new, it's packaged, it's filled up all the way to the top. If anybody's interested, let me know. I will also be giving the Bay Rum Bar Soap along with this one, and they will go together. So if you're interested in getting this, just make an extra comment down below, and I will do a extra spin wheel round on my next video to see who the giveaway winner is going to be for these. So it's going to be two giveaways. The one that I'm currently doing for Vlogmas and then this one besides that one. So let me know guys.